Hey everybody, welcome back to Bible Study with a Sown Seed. This week, we're doing things a little different. We're with Rowan University, and Skip is teaching from Mark 5, 15 through 20. You can title this message, What Happens After? Okay, let's dive right in. Verse 15, is, this is the part I kind of want to focus in on. Then they came to Jesus and saw the one who had been demon-possessed and had the legion sitting and clothed in his right mind, and they were afraid. And those who saw it told them how it had happened, how he had been demon-possessed, and about the swine. And they began to plead with him to depart from their region. And when he got into the boat, he who had been demon-possessed begged Jesus that he might be with him. However, Jesus did not permit him, but he said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you. And he had departed and began to proclaim in Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him in all marvels. So God, I just want to thank you for this night. I thank you for this opportunity to be in person with the students of Rowan University and the friends. God, I thank you that you'll meet us here, that you'll speak to us through your word. And God, help us along our journey. Let us find you each and every day, early in the morning, in the middle of the day, and at night before we go to sleep. God, help us to seek you throughout the day and be sensitive to your voice and to your spirit as it leads us and guides us every step of the way. So God, speak through me so that your people can hear from you clearly this night. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And all I'm going to say is, if we look at our lives, we can relate to him before we came to Christ. When we were before Jesus, let's call it BC, we were in sin, which means we had changed. We lived a wild life. We messed up. We made mistakes. We were doing some pretty out there stuff. And even if you weren't, maybe you were chained mentally. Maybe you were chained emotionally. Maybe you were chained from physically from some type of ailment. Before you came to Jesus, you could have been that man. The man encounters Jesus and finds freedom. Many times we make such a big deal about coming to Christ, getting set free, which is great, but what happens after? This man, I look at his story, and he wanted so badly to go with Jesus. He said, I, I just want to stay in this place for, for it, with you. Just wherever you go, I follow. I just want to stay. I want to go. I want to lead with you. I want to be with you. I want to learn from you. I just want to stay in this place. And in a perfect world, you would think Jesus would say, join my crew. Make it the 13 disciples. You know, one more. We're going to be great. And he told him, I need you to stay. Verse 19 said, Jesus did not permit him. He said, go home to your friends. And tell them the great things the Lord has done for you and how he's had compassion on you. That's what I want to hone in right there. We have, we're in sin. We repented. God healed us. He saved us. We've experienced God. And there's a tendency to stay right there. People, how many people know? They go to church Sunday to Sunday, Wednesday to Wednesday. There's a tendency to just do the church thing. But the church thing doesn't go outside the doors of that church. Right here, this is a guy that was set free, saved, delivered, whatever you want to call it. And he's like, Jesus, I want to stay. And Jesus said, no, I need you to go. And I love that. He didn't say, go into synagogue and preach. He didn't say, oh, go to seminary and get a degree. And then he just said, go to your friends and tell them what God did. Go to those in your area of influence and tell the story. And all that I'm going to ask you to do is, if you look at this text, are you telling the story? Simple and plain. I'm not going to bash you and say, oh, you're going to hell because you're not. I just want to encourage you. Are you telling the story? Your story. Or what God did for you. Or how he set you free. How he saved you. What you've learned. Have you told your story lately? Have you just said, you know what? Last Thursday we talked about this revamping our vision and our family. And wow, this light came on. Did you share that with anybody? Because someone could be walking this campus struggling, and they're looking for you and your story. This man, what I love about it, he said, oh, he went to Decapolis. And they did all he shared what Jesus said. That word Decapolis means ten towns. It means that he didn't just go to his friends in one city. He went from town to town to town to town. Just saying, let me tell you the story. 
Let me, let me just tell you the great thing that God did. You know, I was living in that cemetery. I was crazy. I was breaking chains and look at me now. And I don't care if you believe me. I just want to share my story. And it said that all marveled. It didn't mean all followed him. Not all joined his church, but all listened and heard the story. But how many people's lives can be changed if you opened your mouth and shared your story? And that's the struggle that I faced growing up. When I was in college, I beat myself up because I didn't tell my story. It was like I grad it was my senior year, and then right after graduation, the college group started growing and I got to participate. And I was like, God, I wish I could have told my story more. I, I wish I didn't wait so long. And yeah, I'm doing great things now, God. That's that's great. People are telling my story, but inside I'm like, I should have told my story. And I want you to be like this man to realize where you've been. I'm not asking you to tell me your sins. I'm not asking you to tell me your faults, but realize where you've been. You've come to Jesus, tell someone what God's done for you. That's all I want you guys to do. I'm hearing the story of my peers. I'm connected in a community and we're sharing the story with each other and we're helping each other grow. You guys will not be able to grow in isolation. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. We want to hear from you. And check out our social media. And what else? And don't forget to subscribe. Check out the last video we posted. And we'll see you next time.